when you look up in a law dictionary, look up the word, you know, people say, well, they can't do this to me. I'm a human being. You know what a human being means in law? What does a human being mean in law? Read it. Sea monster. Monster, a human being by birth, but in some part resembling a lower animal. That's right. So if you're a human being by law, you're an animal. You cannot own property because you are a monster. You are a human being. And, and that's why, according to British law, when you're talking about a man or woman which are sovereign, the word in law in England is you, is you say he is a man on the land or a woman on the land. If you're a sovereign, if you're important in England, you are referred to as a man or a woman. And if you have offspring, they're called children. So a man and a woman is the term given to people who are of importance or royalty who are sovereigns. But if you're not, if you are just a, a, a poor working class, then you are referred to as male or female, not man or woman. You're not a man. You're a human being. Therefore, you are a male or female. And look it up in the dictionary. Male and female are terms that are used around the world for animals. An animal is a male or female. It's not a man. It's an animal. So that's why on your driver's license, you know, on your ID, it's male or female because you are considered by law to be an animal. Animal. They own you. You need to wake up and understand that the reason why Americans know, Americans know they don't have any power to do anything. I mean, we can elect our presidents, but you can't select your president. You can only elect the thugs that they give you. So the corporation called United States Corporation, once a year, since it's now a public, it's, it's now dealing with the public since 1871, corporate law says that they have to have a president, vice president, secretary, treasurer. It also so the corporate law says that, that if, it's, if you're dealing with the public, which is, is now a public corporation, that once a year you have to have a, a stockholders meeting. And so if you can't uh, be there because you're, you're a stock, I mean, when, you know, if you get married and you're marrying a wealthy girl, we say, well, she's a good stock. What are you doing? Marrying a cow? No, it's, it's, it's a term that we use. He's a good stock, meaning that you are an animal, but you're a little bit higher class animal. You're still an animal. You need to understand how words work, how government works, how society operates. It's an extraordinary story of betrayal. Betrayal. The people of America have not been told. They have been lied to and deceived. And that's why they're losing their homes. They're losing their jobs. They're losing their country. They're losing their freedom. And now they're just losing their minds. Why? Because the people realize they have no power because knowledge is power. And unless you understand how this thing we call America really works, then you're going nowhere. And I'm telling you, nothing works the way you think it does. Nothing.